Then I want to now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of organic compounds. When it comes to characteristics of organic compounds, number one is their source. That's from which source are they obtained? These are obtained mostly from living sources, but they can also be synthetically uh, um, synthesized in laboratories as well, as proved by Waller. After that, when it comes to their characteristics, that all of these contain carbon as the key element in their structure. Moreover, uh, second point is that they have peculiar nature such that this peculiar nature says that they have the characteristic to be classified into general groups on the basis of their chemical property. Let's suppose if we are taking a general group of organic compounds, let's say we take alkanes. Alkanes is a general group which has a general formula and on the basis of that uh, of the compound which belong to alkane, on the basis of the compounds which belong to alkane, we can simply classify the Prop chemical properties, we can simply understand the chemical properties of that particular group, right? And the number of carbon atoms in that particular group will determine its physical properties. So, in that sense, the chemical properties can easily be identified due to their peculiar nature, due to their similar uh, similarities into their groups. And this is why we can easily learn uh, organic compounds as there are more than 6 million organic compounds. Of course, we cannot memorize them all. But if we only learn the functional group which they possess, if we only learn the uh, specific functional group, specific uh, group to which they belong, we can easily uh, classify them according to the chemical properties. So in this way, we can easily learn the characteristics of organic compounds. After which, when it comes to uh, it comes to the reactivity, reactivity of organic compounds is quite low because uh, they are uh, they are involved in the molecular form due to which their reactivity is quite low uh, as, a, as compared to ionic compounds which are found in ionic forms in the form of positive and negative charges. On the other side they have low melting and boiling point. Low melting and boiling point hota hai. Low melting and boiling point is there which uh, causes to uh, as compared to ionic compounds because these are having covalent bonds relatively weaker intramolecular forces are there which is known as London dispersion forces weaker molecular forces London dispersion forces are there which lead to weaker uh, intermolecular forces due to which the stability is lower as well lower stability is there and on the other hand side when it comes to their uh, boiling point melting point that is lower as well uh, one more thing that they are reactive reactivity is high but when it comes to the rate of reaction Rate of reaction is low because they involve molecules inside them. Due to which the rate of reaction is low because they involve molecules inside them. On the other side, if we talk about their solubility, they are so generally less soluble in water. But if we further classify them on the basis of polar organic compounds and non-polar organic compounds, the non-polar organic compounds are soluble in non-polar solvents and the polar organic compounds are soluble in polar solvents. For example, alcohols are polar organic compounds which are soluble in water whereas non-polar organic compounds such as ether, benzene, toluene are non-soluble in water because they possess London dispersion force while water possesses hydrogen bonding due to which it is unable to create a, a bond uh, unable to create a physical force of interaction due to which unable to dissolve in the water right and after that when it comes to organic compounds we have got Organic compounds are uh, generally found in the form of soft solids or gases or liquids uh, either in the form of soft solid or gases or liquids in the form of soft solid gases or liquids because they have less stability due to which they form a stronger bond due to which they, they basically have soft solid gases and liquids because they have covalent uh, bond inside them and London dispersion forces inside them as a physical process of attraction. On the other hand side, if we talk about another characteristic, uh, organic compounds can form long chains. Carbon is the characteristic to form uh, long chains by creating a linkage with its uh, uh, with another same carbon atom. And that self-linkage property, self-linking property of carbon is known as catenation. Through this property, the carbon is able to execute the uh, formation of long chain hydrocarbons, which is then you know useful 
for maintaining their structure. Uh, if there is a long chain hydrocarbon, long chain hydrocarbon have higher melting and boiling point, higher physical properties, and low, uh, those of uh, smaller smaller carbon atoms are having lower melting and boiling point, lower physical properties. Right? Reactivity is one thing, reaction rate is another thing. And on the other hand side, when it comes to characteristics of organic compounds, characteristics of organic compounds, we are going to understand the process of combustion as well. That all, most of the organic compounds are combustive, which means they can burn in the presence of oxygen in order to produce carbon dioxide and water, due to which these are combustive. For example, when methane is burned in the presence of oxygen, it causes to produce carbon dioxide. Carbon causes to produce, produce carbon dioxide. And when it comes to combustion process occurring, uh, these are combustive due to which most of these are utilized as fuels because they, of their combustive properties. Yes, and one more uh, characteristic is that the that the organic compounds can form organic compounds uh, can have same molecular formula but can have different structural formula. Same molecular formula but different structure formula, which means that if this is a formula of, let's say this is a formula of ethyl alcohol, or let's take example of ethane simply. If you take example of ethane, if we take example of ethane, right? If you take example of ethane. Then ethane basically can be resembled. Ethane basically can be uh, resembled with. We can better take the example of butane. Because butane. One more thing that I wanted to highlight over here is that isomerism is a phenomena which occurs in higher carbon atom compounds. The minimum, the lowest. Carbon atom molecule which is having isomerism phenomena inside it is known as butane. And above that, we have we are having pentane until 30 uh, carbon atoms. 30 carbon atoms is having more than 6 million, more than 4 million um, isomers. While butane is having only two isomers, which are number one, the and butane, straight chain butane, this is the straight chain butane and second one is the isobutane which is a branch chain butane, branch chain butane, this is the branch chain butane. Right. This is the branch chain butane structure, which is known as isobutane, right? So this is how we basically name, uh, we basically form isomers of the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. These are certain characteristics about the organic compound for the adjustment video. We'll uh, further discuss about the types of isomers in the next video.